What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here at the Nerd Castle with Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I'm looking forward to this episode. This is a series that I have so much fun playing that I really... I'm, I'm not looking forward to the time when it's going to be all over. I do feel as though that's going to be a day in which we all have to bow our heads and just really sort of be solemn for a little bit. A little bit solemn for a bit. Looking around this little kind of rocky area, this kind of harkens back to every bit of field work that I've ever done, except that there aren't orcs shooting at us. Usually it's like hillbillies and stuff. One time when I was out at field camp, we came into this one little area. There's this place called the Silver Eagle Mine. And we were out there kind of, oh, I just got a rocket fired at me. Dick. Let's see if I can shoot him off the top of there before something horrible happens. There we are. So if I end up with a rocket and an orifice in between here, I don't know if I'm going to have time to tell that story. It's getting a little bit rowdy in here, and I can't think of talk at the same time. Like, stories always require a certain bit of, like, embellishment. Like, I'm not going to say that you exaggerate, but at the same time, you've got to tell it with a little bit of extra pop in the parts that matter. And unfortunately, I don't really feel like I can focus well enough at this point to finish... Oh, there's another one of those landing things. Okay. Let's take a look around. I'll probably just unload that clip, and then once I've unloaded it, we'll just get started with the slashing and the chopping. Get our melee zogging on. There it is. And with the remaining bullets that we have, we take out the final guy. Did I just hear another thing fall? Please tell me I didn't just hear another thing fall. Like, I realize the ongoing endeavor of this game is to find more violence, but every now and again, you need a little bit of a breather. I mean, we've been fighting for like five days now, and I feel as though my Space Marine energy organ is really kind of betraying me at this point. We need a nice little nap and a lie down. I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be going. Let's go back this way and have a look at what's going on with that bridge because I never like to leave anything behind, being who I am, sort of OCD in that fashion. Okay, so that's what I had assumed they had done, is that they had busted the bridge. Can I fall off? No. I'm that player. I'm that guy that every time I find that boundary in a video game, I'm like, can I fall off this and die? I'm going to try. Let's do it head first. <laughs> I'm gonna go where we're supposed to then, because they seem to railroad us pretty often. And what happens when you resist the railroad? Well, nothing. You absolutely don't advance the storyline at all. I mean, that's really kind of the realistic situation that we find ourselves encumbered with. It's a pretty big refuse falling in, but it vanished in midair, which leads me to believe that there's some kind of heresy going on. I will remove their patches as rapidly as I can, sir. Yeah, I figured we weren't going to get around that second rocket. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit more offensive on this one. And if I find out that it backfires on me, well, then I'll probably just regret it and maybe edit it out or something. But I think I'm going to go on the offensive here. Oh, good. We have a couple of sluggers coming in. So I'm going to get on him. I think I softened him up already enough. Okay, so going on the offensive appears to have betrayed me lightly. Oh my. Fury mode! See, I almost forgot that I could use that again. I think it's the rockets that we have coming in that are really making this situation untenable. I'm still in fury mode, man. I'm still glowing with the goldy goodness. I'm still bathing in the Emperor's Golden Shower right now, so I really feel like you're making a miscalculation when you try and fight me in melee. That's the one thing I can tell you that I am good at when I'm glowing yellow. Alright, a couple more Slugger boys down. And where the hell are all these rockets coming in from? Because, frankly, this is really sort of starting to irritate me. They're just running back and forth in between the cover. So there's one dead. You're next. Oh my god. That is ridiculous right there. Like, what do you even... Like, they don't want you to corner up, and they tell you to go out into melee. But then, like, every time you uncorner up, you get hit by 5,000 rockets. I mean, fine, I'm just going to hang out in the back then. If you really want to use cheesy tactics like that, just spamming rockets. If I wanted to play Quake, I'd play Quake. Put 
Put a bunch of grenades in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to hold up in the back because the game simply will not let me out of this corner. I'm gonna have to deprive them of all types of... God. Let the Inquisitor do his tanking thing, and then we'll try and find the dozens of rocket launchers they've hidden all up and in here. That guy's glitching through a wall firing at me. Alright. And so, they didn't even, like, spawn the guys that they did before, unless it's done, like, ways. I didn't see a knob or anything else in there, either. Throw a grenade up and over his head and see if I can't kill a couple before he even gets here. God, I love you, Stalker Bolter. Stalker Bolter, if I could marry you and put a ring on it, I totally would. A Nuva ring. But anyways... Let's continue. You know what? Stop hitting my friend, man. I'm the kind of friend that if you hit my friend, I'm gonna hit you first. You know what I mean? Especially if my friend's not swinging back. I really do wish that they made your AI, like, actually do something. After getting used to Gears of War AI where they contribute in some kind of useful fashion, these guys really just seem like useless turds who stand around just getting in my way. And that's right, I'm talking about you, Sidonis, you blind bastard. Now that we've made it past our previous discrepancy in play skill ability, Yay, more rockets. I really do hate you. Like, I sincerely hate you, Rocket Launcher Troop. Like, it's it's rare that I can conjure the vitriol for something that doesn't truly exist. Like, you are an intangible asset in my life. And yet, at the same time, I just... I loathe you. I truly, truly loathe you. I'm really kind of getting into the character of a Space Marine right now where I want to wipe you out. Those rocket launches are really kind of obnoxious in the way that they're designed. They do a lot of damage for how wide their explosion range is. And I don't have anything comparable. I really want to fire rockets at something now. Mister, can we get around the bulk of these orcs? Yes, perhaps. My research produces a minimal waste, so the facility's sluice ways should be accessible. Lead the way. See, I should have known better than to go out on melee. That's what it is. Every time I go out on melee, I die. Lydia says the orcs are two streets away. Help me, Mr. Ross. Hurry. What are you injecting him with? Stop! This is a fatal dose! You're murdering them. I'm showing them mercy. In ten minutes, the orcs will break through those doors and slaughter them all in their beds. Better to die in peace before that. It's the last thing I can do for them. I'm gonna go with the Laz Cannon for a little bit. Oh, yay! More rockets! what I always wanted. That number one thing. I put it on my Santa list. Like, Santa exists in the world of Warhammer 40k, albeit with a few more spikes and a greater bloodlust for corn. Like, he unfortunately got converted over to heresy. We couldn't keep him as part of the Imperium, but at the same time, he's still taking wishes as long as they're death wishes. I mean, they have been modified slightly, and I'm being hit with more... God. Let's get back behind a wall again. And then... I'm going to go ahead and take him out. And there it is. Breaking out the jaw saw. Doing a little bit of that Warhammer 40k dentistry. I mean, you don't even know where to start with an orc anyways. Their teeth are pretty rotten. It basically smells like a Parmesan factory every time they breathe. It's it's bad. Your mouth should never feel like, like smell like a foot that's been in a boot for like days. Saw that guy hiding back behind the rocks. I find their ability to soak headshots slightly concerning. Then again, they they probably find my ability to disperse or to dispense headshots disturbing as well. So I guess we're both just two fleets of dis like disturbed people. That's all we are. Just disturbed people running on through, shoot, oh, and one shot right there. So apparently that headshot was superior to, look at that, that's a, aw, man, the blood went away. I was going to show you guys how lovely and reflective the blood was, but the game's not going to allow. Let's go back to our normal bolter for a little bit. I thought I saw something over here.
Put a couple rounds in over the tops of these rocks for once we have the cover. And we're not gauged in some ridiculous shooting match. A bunch of them out on the bridge. So I'm going to put a grenade out and maybe it'll soften them up enough to where I can machine gun them down before they even get here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just be wrong. And then back to the Stalker Bolter. I would like to get them down before I deal with anybody. Oh my, there's a knob coming. Oh, there's a big guy coming in too. I didn't even see him. Christ, we got to get out of the way here. Where's he at? There he is. Apparently the rocket launches are back. Oh, you don't even have to, if you're in fury mode, you don't even have to do the other thing. Okay. Well, I would have liked to have conserved a little fury mode for that guy right there, but... There simply ain't none left. I'm gonna give him a bit of a runaround. Because I know for a fact I definitely don't want to fight him in melee, but I will check out what his fatality is. Oh, it's the same. Am I still going to do the jaws? Oh, no, I'm going to saw his head off from behind. Yeah. That's what I like to see. I'm going to get my Kool-Aid man on right now because I enjoyed that tremendously. Over here, the Inquisitor is being useless like the rest of my teammates and just kind of standing around. Did we get everybody? Are we like done here? Okay, fantastic. Now that we're done with yet another massive shootout slash slash out, I don't see any of the recorders. Receiving a bit of fire. And so in due course, I'm going to do my best to douse that in blood and keep on trucking. Could use some more grenades. We're definitely using up some grenades here and there. We sprinkle. We dabble in grenadery. I don't see anything off this way. And what is this? Is this where I came from or am I just kind of... Okay, that's where I came from. So I'm sort of just going around in circles around this thing. I'm getting myself all disoriented, discombobulated. When really I could have just come around like so. Captain, my servitors were destroyed in the initial attack. I may need your help to activate the psychic scourge. How large is the weapon? The firing mechanism is at my research lab. But the energy pulse itself travels along conduits from the lab to the orbital spine. Alright, and so we said a bunch of medieval words there, like... We will proceed through that door. The Inquisitor's got kind of like a faking Bill Nye thing going on. I don't know if I want the Thunder Hammer right now. I need time to override the lock, Captain. Understood, Inquisitor. I guess I could take one for a bit. We'll take a look and see how bad the rocket spam is as we play through this. There it is, boys. Where are you at right now? Let me reload this gun. Throw out a grenade. And it appears as though we've got ourselves nice and full up on Fury, so if we get up against the wall, and we really have to, we can bathe in the golden shower of the Emperor one more time. Ooh, the Thunder Hammer stun locks him. Although he still doesn't seem to go down. That's really the big thing that I've noticed here is that going down is not something that he really prefers to do. We can hit him a lot and we do stun lock him, but it's going to take us quite a bit of work to actually get him leveled out. I feel like this is how we should do all construction projects in life. Like we should just equip each other with giant power hammers and just kind of throw down that way. Like just set me loose at the beginning of the day with a giant hammer and be like, listen, we need you to get this concrete wall knocked down. I'm like, yeah! That's probably already a job. Probably doesn't pay very well though. I can't imagine sledgehammering walls pays very well. Are we in yet? Gents? 
Here's a close break. There you go. There's a close range grenade. Just to make you feel a little bit better. Just to let you know I love you, Orky. Just to let you know. I'm gonna do my best to get rid of some of these shield guys. Okay, so the I'm pretty sold on the Thunder Hammer right now. I'm feeling as though the Thunder Hammer does its job reasonably well. And I need some health, so we'll go ahead and take that. Yeah, buddy, here we are. Fury mode, pal. Did they just try and bring out two of those on me at the same time? Wow, holy hell. I mean, I don't know if hell is holy or not. I feel like with all the lava and all of kind of the acidic work that hell would be doing, it'd have a lot of holes in it. I mean, I feel as though they would be quite sparse. Well, like, maybe sparsely populated, but interspersed, I guess is the word that I was looking for there. I don't want to be in the middle of you anymore. I'm feeling very, very nervous about my living situation, which is becoming more and more tentative. I'll wait for my shield to come back, and then I'll deal with you orkies. Maybe throw out a grenade or two. I'm all out of fury. There it is. So let's go ahead and go with the fury mode since we've got so many knobs in here. That was my big terror is that there's just so many knobs. I'm really, really glad that we took the thunder hammer in this situation. We would be in a nasty, nasty predicament if we were still using a chainsword. Hey, we're in. Fantastic. Let's go. Close the door. As fast as you can. Just close it. Right now. What happened to, like, Private Lemon Grab or whatever his name was? We had two guys. One of them started with an L. Oh, there he is. Okay. I thought the Spire to be a ground to space. It is. With a few modifications, it also makes an ideal firing tower. The energy pulse should not damage the spire. You do not sound confident. Improvisation and experimentation go hand in hand. Well, within reason. Within reason. I don't want to nitpick his scientific method or anything because I really kind of fear that they would put me up for heresy, but I will mention that, you know, you gotta... Gotta have a little bit more to it than that. Well, the sergeant's tanking, I suppose I'm just gonna use my guns. Kinda try and fill up that. It looks like you don't get very much rage though from doing this. Oh god, they're right there. Okay, so there was a lot more of them than I expected. I'm out of nades. And I do feel as though focusing on the squigs is gonna be the thing to do right here. Oh, that's how he got at me so quickly. He was coming from that way. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of the shooters in the back. I've still got my thunder hammer, so I'm really not that horrified of entering melee right now. It seems to be kind of the quintessential I win button for the Space Marines. Which explains why so many people online used it. Just ad nauseum. Those guys were always using... Yeah, I think I'd already softened him up just slightly. I'd given him a few rounds. He was bleeding. He was bleeding aggressively. Which I think is the only way that orcs really truly could ever bleed. Very, very aggressively. Oh man, where are they? I know they're here somewhere. Okay, it's time to make use of the Thunder Hammer here. The private would get himself out of my way. It's never a good situation where you got privates in your way. It doesn't appear as though that would make the best blockade, but it might, I guess, if you were just kind of in a weird after club situation. You'd be like, ah, privates! <laughs> Feeling very blinded right now. And not by science, mostly by smoke. 
<laughs> you thought you were gonna land a hit on me. You thought. Which is rare for an orc in the first place. They don't think that much. Really not a species that gives a whole lot of thought to anything. Ooh, they came in from above me. Three more nades, which is good, because every couple seconds I've been spamming I've been spamming the Q key every couple moments trying to get a grenade off, and I've just been unable to kind of lock it down. Got a bunch of foes up there, and unfortunately. Because I took the Thunder Hammer, I'm locking myself out of a lot of long-range options. I think realistically we should be okay, so long as I can serve ammunition. My pistol... At the end of the day, my pistol is completely and totally... ...free on ammunition, so... We have to lead a little bit more with it. But it is pretty strong. The Plasma Pistol is nothing to scoff at. It does deal a lot of damage if you need it to. Ah, there's one right there. Let's go grab ourselves a servo skull. Aye. We're all going to die out here! You are an Imperial Guardsman. Start acting like one. But, Lieutenant! We're not dead yet. So do your bloody job and defend the line before they... I'm gonna, I'm gonna come to the Guardsman's defense and say that routing and freaking the hell out is exactly what Guardsmen do. That's kind of part of their job title. Like, one or two of them die, and then all of a sudden morale fails, and next thing you know, you're executing your own men, trying to get them back into the fight. It's just, it's a nasty, nasty predicament to be in. There we are. There's the pathway on up. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to find it. suppose I am missing a little bit of health. Come here, lunch meat. Mmm. Tastes like health. Also green. What does green always taste like? Green always tastes like watermelon to me. That's the associative flavor that I assign to things that are green. Either that or sour apple. I don't see anything in and on this way, although we may want to call the episode to a close fairly soon. Just because I don't want to overdo it today, I'm still recovering from whatever that was that ate up my voice over the last couple days. Lead into the facilities sub basements, and here is our entrance. And so it is. There's one thing you can say about the Imperium: it does make some like pretty strong pipes. I mean, their pipe smiths are definitely on their air game. They're hanging wire smiths, always ready to roll. So I think, yeah, let's break off the episode right here, simply because I think we're going to run out of time if I get into any more, like, major fights. My name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for another episode of Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Take care out there, everybody, and hi-do.